This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. It's Friday. We made it. End of the week. Hope you're having a really nice start to your day. Woo, we are getting the weekend started early. Let's do this. So many fun things to talk about. And listen, we got some little Friday soundtrack going. I'm kind of into that. I like that. Okay, here's what I'm super excited about because we have amazing music lined up today. We have such a great show today. Another Grammy Award winner is going to be on our stage today. She has a brand new song. It's out today. Francesca Battistelli is here. I love this lady so much. Her new single comes out today. She plays the Opry tonight. We get to hear her new song on the show this morning. Not so, only is she amazing, she's got four kids. What? I know. Yes. That's Looks incredible. Looks fantastic, sounds amazing, and she's a mama for. I so, love that. Just does it all. Doing it all. I love it. We also got live music in just a few minutes from the amazing The Young Fables. Hi, guys. Yes, we love them. They're performing this afternoon at the American Artisan Festival over in Centennial Park. That They're is They're going correct. to give us a preview. I know. That is, a correct, that is a correct thing. So listen, Ding. guys, you guys can all relate to this because we had a little family emergency last night, my little sweet boy. Patrick broke his wrist and he knocked out a tooth and so the phone's been blowing up from sweet but well he's wishes. Okay. He's yes, he got into the dentist this morning. And he was in the ER last night. It was so. a baby tooth. Turned out it was a baby tooth. <sighs> I know. Thank that goodness. was a big save. So anyway, so there, you can you can relate. The phone Ooh. the phone work's been going on just trying to get into places and all that stuff. I'm so, telling you. Yeah. So it's definitely Friday for you. <laughs> yes. Hey, guess what? We are kicking off the weekend with burgers. You need to eat your feelings. It's going to be fine. You might have seen City Kitchen driving around Music City. They are in our kitchen this morning, and we are learning how to make the tomato jam that tops their brunch burger. Uh, it's delish. You can put it on anything. We are getting the secret recipe just in time for Father's Day. Yay. Yeah, said dads want to have a burger for breakfast, and I couldn't agree more. I so agree. So moms, I'm into sure. it. Yes. So wedding season and beautiful flowers are out there. So whether you're a bride-to-be or you just want to, you know, do all that, we are going to help you stretch your floral budget because we have Vance Nichols here, I incredible florist. Oh, he's like florist of the stars. And he is going to show us how to make these amazing arrangements. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Every time he's been on, I've tried it at home. Right. And it's been a slam dunk. So he's got the best tips. So I can do it. Anyone and he was just it. recently featured in Martha Stewart in weddings. their weddings. Yes, in the magazine and People magazine. His talent has He's no a player. End. He is He's a player. He's good. We love it. We get it all right here. Men all across the U.S., check this out. They're sliding on women's shoes. Yeah, so have you seen this movement happening all across the country? It is for Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. It's a campaign where groups of men are getting together, putting on the heels, and strutting the strut. And what they're doing is they're trying to encourage conversations about women being victims to many different things, whether it's gender violence or assault. And this group of attorneys in Santa Clara, I just love this pose. Mm. It sort of made me smile. So people are posting photos and videos all over using hashtag walk the talk. That's really cool. Yeah. Very good for them. And some of them actually walk in heels probably better than I would. Than I would. <laughs> I was sure. expecting a whole lot of wobbly, you oh, know, good. Good and they, they did pretty good. This is hilarious. The restaurant Chili's had some fun on Twitter. There's a woman named Bella that sent out this tweet. It says, the boys I nanny for just asked me where I work. I really didn't have the heart to tell them their parents pay me to hang out with them. So now they think I work at Chili's. Nice. So Chili's got involved and sent out this hilarious tweet. They posted a certification of employment saying, Bella works for us at Chili's and is one of the best employees ever. So you should listen to her and everything she says. Sincerely, the very important people from Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> Super cute. That's awesome. I didn't have the heart to tell them that their parents pay me to hang out with them. <laughs> like, I'm sort of, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I'm your friend, but your parents pay me to be your friend. Oh, uh, all right. Nanny. So comedian Zach Galifianakis is back, and he's got a hilarious online talk show, Between what? Two Ferns. So it sort of took a hiatus. It I went away. It. Ferns were closed. Yeah. But now they're back. Oh. And so this is when he invites celebrities, and they sit in between these two ridiculous ferns and he asks them absurd questions. His most recent guest, Jerry Seinfeld. I mean, things got awkward. Take a look. Actor, writer, 
comedian, producer. Which of Larry David's skills do you admire the most? You have uh, comedians in cars getting coffee. James Corden has a uh, carpool karaoke. What's next in lazy car-based non-comedy? Oh, he's here. Oh, this is exciting. A uh, little Seinfeld reunion. Oh. Um, come on out! Hello, Jerry. Hey, Wayne. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. How are you doing? Well, you're okay. supposed to say, hello, Newman. Yeah, no, that's when I'm playing the character. Is Newman. No. No, well, my name is Wayne Knight. Why would you have him come down and, and, and use him that way in that cliche, you know, exploitative way of just having him do his catchphrase from I the show? I thought that was, then you, that's what you wanted. I was disappointed. No, I didn't, I I didn't, didn't even know. know you were coming. I love it. And then he just hands me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If you haven't watched Between Two Ferns, it's definitely a certain type of sense of humor. I find it fall down funny. Like, I'm crying laughing. My husband watches it and goes, I don't get it. I go through the waves. I have a little bit of both. Oh. At, at one point, I can't tell whether they're playing along and it's just so awkward, or to and me, then it hits those wonderful notes. That one's got a lot of wonderful notes. There's in a it. really good one with Brad Pitt from 2014 that I, I went to a deep dive this morning wow. on Between Two Ferns. Wow. Here is your reminder that Father's Day is Sunday. Call your dad. If you don't have reservations for Father's Day, don't worry. Still plenty of options and tons of local places with great specials. Henley, fried chicken basket special yes. on Sunday. Yes. You can make reservations on Open Table. Also, one of your favorite places, Mockingbird. Mockingbird. They're doing dad's brats. Big yes. And the big papa burger. Sweet. Another yes. Popsicle ice cream sundae all at Aww. the Mockingbird. Shohan, Tonso, and City Winery also have great options. You can make reservations at all these places at opentable.com. And if you're looking for some really good deals, Freebirds has a free dessert for your dad on Sunday. And Whiskey Row on Broadway, Penny Pines. Penny Pines? That's so Gosh, that brings back bad memories. That's, that sounds like a bad idea. Really bad idea. You know, like to give somebody that, a quarter. That sounds and like say, a very 1970s coming. idea. Cause I, didn't that? What was the anyway? I'm I don't know. Say. Yes, good call, producer. Just roll the open to the City Auto Weekend Showcase. Here we go. It is the American Artisan Festival happening today through Sunday at Centennial Park. Craft and fine arts vendors, kids activities which are free. Plenty of food, plenty of beverages, a lot of good live music, and amazing art from artisans all over the country starts at noon today. Some of the fastest boats in the world will be racing across the Cumberland River tomorrow afternoon. It's Thunder on the Cumberland Racing Series, part of the F1 Powerboats Racing Circuit. The Riverfront Park is the best place to watch, and guess what? It's free. How fun. All right, looking to get out of the city, head south to Lewisburg, Tennessee, for the Rusted Magnolia Marketplace, happening tonight and tomorrow at Jubilee. Lee Hills. For more information, search Rusted Magnolia on Facebook. This is an event that benefits the Animal Rescue Assistance Team of Tennessee. And one of Nashville's largest food and drink festivals is tomorrow night at Public Square Park. The Taste of Music City runs from 6 to 10. Enjoy samples of some of the city's best. Tickets are 59 bucks, but if you buy them early, that includes food and drinks. So get the tickets in advance. If you buy them at the door, they're going to be a little pricier. I've been to that before, and it is a good time. Yes. It's time for what, what are we eating? Are we eating we, slash drinking? We got a sneak peek, so here we go. What is this? Looks like Sonic to me. Yes? No. What? I know exactly what it is. What do you mean? What, do you, what no, happened? I'm gonna let you take a taste. What just I can't. To you? No, just take a sip. Pickle juice. Pickle juice. It's a pickle juice slushy. You think that I would learn? That I would slow my roll? That I wouldn't go in so fast and just chug it? I should have been forewarned. You had a tough time with that. You went. Wow, in. that was what? a lot. Well, I took like a, a huge. Yeah, it wasn't you did. like a teeny tiny yeah. sip. I was like, oh, wow. it's, it's Sonic. It's going to be lovely. I don't hate this. You, what? I, of all of the people. Are, really? Because I'm I know. the one that usually likes the weird things. I know. I don't hate it. It's like. Does yours have liquor lemon, in it? Lemon, <laughs> there's vodka in the bottom. Well, no, um, no clearly. It's, lemmy, it's a little lemon lime pickly. The new pickle slush. I saw that this was happening. I should have known. I mm. should have known. It's kind of great. If you like it, thanks guys. It can be yours at Sonic.
Or do like me and order tots and a cherry Coke Zero with light ice. Can you imagine if you did that to your kids? Oh, like, oh, she I'm would get you guys me. all slushies. She would hate me for the rest like of her pickles. life. That is a distinct flavor <laughs> profile.